हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर हर्ष माथुर फ्रॉम ओम नेत्रालय वाराणसी इंडिया एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑपोजिट क्लियर कॉर्नियल इंसिजन इट हैज बीन सीन दैट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ आर पेशेंट्स नीड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ प्री एग्जिस्टिंग एस्टिगमेटिज्म स्पेक्टिकल इंडिपेंडेंस इज द एम एंड इन दिस मॉडर्न एरा एवरी सर्जन वॉन्ट्स टू गिव एन ई मेट्रोपिक विजन टू हिज पेशेंट्स now the location of the incision is important as it causes the flattening of the meridian and if we make two exactly opposite incisions over the cornea then they give an additive effect now there are various ways in which we can correct the astigmatism one of which is the lri that is limbal relaxing incision wherein we give arcuate incisions over the cornea the second is the toric iols which are becoming very popular these days but cost is a major limiting factor and today what we are discussing is the opposite clear corneal incision which was introduced by lever and dan now the main incision is being made It's a triplanar incision by a 2.8 mm keratome, barely nicking the limbal vessels. now a side port is being made approximately 3 clock hours away from the main incision as the surgery is being done under topical anesthesia so at times the patient might give a jerky movement for which the surgeon needs to be ready now of 5.5 mm mark has been placed over the cornea which will help me guide the rexis a flap is being made by the cystitome now the rexis will be done by a uterata forceps which gives me a better control over the rexis the key is to float in the incision and not press the lower lip so as to prevent the leakage of the viscoelastic substance now is the time to do hydro dissection some amount of viscoelastic is burped out of the anterior chamber and a small amount of fluid is placed between the lens and the capsule just tend the capsule a bit some more viscoelastic substances injected now is the time to rotate the nucleus a proper good rotation ensures there are no cortico capsular adhesions which helps and facilitates the surgery now is the time to introduce the phaco probe from the 2.8 mm incision the probe is introduced bevel down some amount of free cortical matter is 
removed and the probe is then turned upside down now we'll be doing a stop and chop maneuver in this case so the dialer is introduced which stabilizes the globe and a trench is being made once the adequate depth is achieved the nucleus is separated into two heminuclei now each heminucleus is further subdivided into two now time to deal with the second heminucleus the heminucleus is held by the phaco probe and then chopped into two quadrants and now is the time to emulsify each of the four quadrants the first quadrant is now being emulsified care needs to be taken to prevent any injury to the endothelium by chattering of the nucleus and for that try to keep the triangular position between the dialer and the probe which helps better control the nucleus the first hemi nucleus has been emulsified the phaco probe needs to be in the central safe zone all the time and all the rest maneuvers should be done by the dialer the nucleus is being emulsified at the plane of the iris now the final piece is being dealt with the phaco parameters are reduced and the last piece is emulsified now is the time for cortical wash for which a simco canal is being used whenever removing the cortex from the 12 o'clock position always go in from the side port which gives a better access and more control and the anterior chamber depth is also properly maintained and now the cortical matter has been removed and it's time to place the lens now coming back to the opposite clear corneal incision the only disadvantage is that there might be an under or over correction because this technique depends upon the healing properties of the patient and it has been noticed that the young patients heal differently from the older patients but generally it has been seen that when we place opposite clear corneal incisions temporarily then they correct about 0.5 to 0.75 diopters of astigmatism 
and when we place them superiorly then they correct approximately 0.75 to 1 diopter of astigmatism now the lens has been placed in the bag and the chamber is again filled with a viscoelastic substance now to do the opposite clear corneal incision the same 2.8 mm keratome is taken and a same tunnel is fashioned as we had done for the main wood exactly opposite and that's it now the visco can be washed and the patient can go home without patching the eye so do let me know your experience about the opposite clear corneal incisions which procedure you prefer the most is it the lris or the occi or toric iols do follow my youtube channel for such more such educational videos the wounds are hydrated and the case is concluded